Good morning, I'm meteorologist Annie Brown. Here's what you can expect for your Sunday flood watch. Hey, it went into effect at 7 this morning. Remains in the forecast through tomorrow. It's been a while since we've been under a flood watch, so take all those precautions because we're going to see a lot of rain in a short amount of time. We need the rain, but not a lot of it. That's when we see some issues and some problems. I-44 and South, mainly those counties that remain under this. Now, as we're looking at the rainfall, here's what we've seen the last 24 hours. Here's where we're going. We're going dealing with a lot of rain in a short amount of time. We're talking less than 24 hours. Yeah, a lot of rain. Two to four inches can be expected with some locally higher amounts. We say locally higher. We're talking about five to even some six inches of rainfall, depending on those thunderstorms and depending on how long and stubborn those systems will remain in your area. For today, we're not dealing with a whole lot to severe. The main concern will be that ongoing flooding threat. For the timeline, yeah, it's not looking too great. So if you're having to get out, you better make sure that you have that rain jacket with you. It's going to be a soggy Sunday. We will get a few breaks, but they will be few and far between. Temperatures really struggling for today, staying in those 60s. This morning on our future track, what I'm seeing, that break would be about 1 until about maybe, excuse me, 11 until about 1 p.m. before this starts firing back up. Uh, and this firing up, it will be a cold front. It's going to act more of a conveyor belt and just impacting the same location. So as I set this into motion, you can see it's just going to roll across and then continuing to push. We're not done yet. It's going to continue to rain for several hours. And that's why we're seeing those heavy pockets of rainfall and concerns with those areas of flooding that will be just south of I-44. In terms of those temperatures, we'll keep those in the 60s. We'll drying out for tomorrow. North winds will be with us. So 10 to 20 miles per hour. So those winds will be picking up again for tomorrow. But Tuesday is looking to be one of my favorite days out of this entire planner. Calm winds and 70s returning to the forecast.